collection of subsamples, again about half the bucket full here in this calf pail. And now we're going to go through accurately subsampling from this because again we don't want to send all of this to the testing laboratory. We want to get a representative sample from this collection of subsamples. So what I'm going to first do is I'm going to turn the feed over like this down on the ground and then I'm going to dump it out and I'm going to use a mixing and quartering technique to get the sample divided down into the quart size bag. Don't be afraid to get dirty. So again, you can see, just like a laundry machine, digging all the way down to the bottom, turning the fines back over, using a dumping technique, just like your TMR mixer does, just like we talked about in the front of the face, to turn the feed over. You can see I'm spilling some out, that's just fine. I'm gonna wanna make sure we work on a flat, clean area. Ideally, you may have some plastic along, or some smooth black topper concrete like this. We're going to turn the sample over. We're going to use, again, the mixing quartering technique. Just crudely divide the sample into quarters. One, two, three, four. We're going to discard two quarters, bring two back together. And again, still, this is too large for my quart size sample bag. It's still too much sample to send to a laboratory. Having a flat, clean surface is important so we don't lose any grain or fines. Okay, that in there. Now we've got about half of what we had prior. Use the same technique to turn this over, mix it back up. So turning it over. Dump it out again, same technique. So in about two reps through this mixing and quartering, you should be able to get down to the sample size. It's appropriate. Again, I'm gonna take two quarters, discard, and we'll be able to get this inside into a quart bag. Collect it back up in the bucket. And we're taking our time here today to walk through and talk about it, but it really won't take longer than just a few minutes. So I've got several bags that I've actually pre-labeled, and I'll put in a plug for FeedScan. It's a smartphone-based or a tablet-based uh, application where we can submit information electronically and develop a confirmation code. I've done that ahead of time on these bags. You can see I've marked it in permanent marker that corresponds to the dairy here. And the feed sample, again, we want to have an accurate sample, but we also want to have accurate information go along with that so that we can continue working towards precision. So I've got my corn silage sample bag here. Again, just a generic quart bag like this. I'm going to empty the whole contents out into the bag. going to be an ideal sample size for a laboratory. This is really all that's needed to do nutritive work, to do energy, uh, do kernel processing score potentially, do yeast and mold, anything that we might want to look at on a sample of this size is more than adequate. And again, that's about one pound, about 500 grams.